I've never been so humiliated in all my life. Where is that nitwit? One, I'll get you 20. He's chasing a fire somewhere. He couldn't be. Not on his wedding day. Oh, no. Where was he the night of your engagement party? Watching the fire at the glue factory. He came in two hours late smelling like a fried rubber boot. But, Father, he's through chasing fires. He promised. Besides, there isn't any fire today. No sirens, no smoke, no... He promised. I made it. Boy, this fire is a pip, isn't it? All right, boys, make way for that hose. Yeah, all right, boys, make way for the hose. Hook her up on the double. Yeah, hook her up on the double. Come on, fellas. Tell it to him. All right, right, let's have that water. Yeah, let's have that water. You heard what he said. Let's have that. Not so fast. Let's go home, May. We can't wait here all night. I'm not budging from here until Eric arrives. All right, but if you bring that firebug home, I'll tear his arm off and slap him with his own hand. Come on, Wilbur. Me, now, if you'd marry me... I, I won't marry you, Wilbur. I'm still going to marry Eric. That drip. Don't you dare call him a drip. The dope. Hello, sweetheart. Eric! You did go to a fire. But it was a big one, honey. It was the lumber yard. First the shingles caught fire, and then the slats. Slats, rats. Is a fire more important than your wedding? Shut up. Eric Potts, you and I are through. For good. But, honey, I love you. No, you don't. Yes, no, I do. You... I... Oh, but I love you. Kiss me, honey. Ah! Tell me that you love me. Ah! Oh, look what you've done. You. Oh, my helmet. <laughs> Oh, May, come on back. I, I won't go to another fire, honest. Ow! Oh. Good evening, sir. Where's the bride? There isn't going to be any bride. But why, sir? She threw me over because I went to that lumberyard fire. I was afraid of that. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Calling engine company 22, brush fire at 16th and Madison. A brush fire, sir? They can be very spectacular. I'm not a bit interested, Simmons. Running the fires made me lose the only girl I'll ever love. But, sir, she forgets who you are. Number one fire kibitzer of our city. What would our fire department be without your help? Simmons, you're right. Yes. She doesn't appreciate me. No, sir. She'll come crawling back someday yes, to ask sir. for forgiveness. But I won't give in. No. I won't yield. No, I'll sir. I'll stand firm as a rock. Yes, sir. Darling, you've come back to me. I've been a cat, a heel, a wretch. Kiss me, kiss me, and tell me I'm forgiven. I have something to say to you in private. Anything you say, sweetheart. Simmons, go dust off the jeep. Yes, sir. At once, sir. Oh, on the double, on the double. Believe me, precious, my love will burn forever. I'll rebuild my life from the ashes of the past. You can't even make love without sounding like a fireman. Well, I'm sorry. What I mean is there'll always be a little spark. Oh, skip it. Gee, champagne and our wedding supper, just for you and me. Eric Potts, there'll be no wedding supper until you quit chasing fires. Well, I'm through right now. Cross my heart. Honest? Honest. Oh, oh God! Sorry, honey. You see, Doctor, I simply won't marry Eric until he's through chasing fires. What do you say, Doctor? You think you can do it? Of course, my boy. This interest in fires is simply a sign of immaturity, yeah? Is that what it is? That's all there is to it. So if you will excuse us, Miss Nutt, we'll commence right away. And don't worry. Dr. Gesundheit is not to be sneezed at. Goodbye, Eric. I'll be waiting. 
Goodbye, honey. You'll see, I'll, I'll be cured. Well, let's get going, Doc. Now, my friend, what makes you run to fires? I don't know, Doc. I, I just gotta. Ah, a conflagration complex. Mm -hmm. Fly comfortable. I will take your case history. Ah, then. You must unveil the past and roll back the years. Now relax. Close your eyes. You are drifting, drifting back to boyhood. You are 21. You are 16. You are five. Now think, think hard. What was the outstanding memory of your boyhood? My beautiful blonde nurse, she was terrific. Ow! Doc, that hurts. Ah, you are still 21. Now close your eyes and drift further back. You are 16. You are 12. You are five. Five years old in rumpers. What do you want, little boy? I want to be a fireman. Oh, Doc, don't do that. Wunderbar. The whole case in a nutshell. You should excuse that expression. No, you are nothing but a frustrated fireman. Is that bad, Doc? No, not at all. That can't be cured. Oh, I hope so. Oh, I have to go. That will be all for today. Say, Doc. Say, Doc, say, Doc, you, you sure this is nothing serious? Of course not. Every youngster has foolish ambitions. Take me, I read so many stories about your Buffalo Bill, I wanted to be a cowboy. <laughs> I was crazy about guns and ropes. I wanted a home on the stove. Oh, Doc, you mean a home on the range? <laughs> a home on the range. Yeah, I wanted to be a fireman and you wanted to be a cowboy. In other words, we're both normal. Sure. It is only when the wish remains that it is serious. Well, bend the foot. Shall we mosey along? is a new man, Father. The doctor's done wonders for him. Uh-huh. Oh, but he has. He hasn't been to a fire for weeks. When he steps out of that office today, he'll be cured. See? Doesn't mean a thing anymore. That I've got to see. It's a fire, my boy. Can you take it? You betcha, Doc. I'm cured. Silence. I get in close. Let him come. Look, look. It's a paint factory right across the street. I don't care. Let it burn. Ooh, it's spreading fast. The flames are shooting high in the air. Here comes the ladder. The roof fell in. Hey, wait for me, Doc. Oh, oh. Eric. Oh. Where did he go? Marion Wilbur. I'll never run to another fire as long as I live. Mr. Potzer, what are you doing? Simmons, did you see the paper? Yes, sir. I'm terribly sorry, but I'm sure the young lady still loves you. Why don't you try to see her? I telephoned this morning, and her father told me if I dared call, he'd set the dog on me. Ha! He was only bluffing. Oh, yeah? He wasn't bluffing. Come on, Simmons, help me get rid of this stuff. Oh, sir, not your invention. Yes, everything, even my fireproof suit. Come on, let's get some more stuff. Well, you're so slow, come on. Ow! Simmons, what are you doing? I'm frightfully sorry, sir. Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right, with a hole in my head. Drink would do you good, sir. Perhaps you'd like a couple of slugs. Yeah, from a 45. Oh, 
I'll end it all. I'll show her. Attention all companies, fire at 32 Waverly Place. Looks like a big one, boys. On the double. Everybody roll. 32 Waverly Place. 32 Waverly Place. That's May's house. That's May's house! <laughs> Are you hurt, sir? No, I'm all right. May's house is on fire. Let's roll. Oh, this way. Wait a minute. Don't forget the fire extinguisher. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, you hit me! Well, I'm frightfully sorry, sir. Well, my son, are you nervous? No, sir. I haven't forgotten a thing. I've got my carnation. I've got the ring right here somewhere in my vest pocket. Oh, my gosh. Don't let it worry you, Wilbur. I'm tickled pink to have you as a son-in-law instead of that other moron. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Knott? Yes? We're from headquarters. Chief sent us down to keep an eye on things. Of course, gentlemen. This way, please. A lot of homes have been knocked over lately. A guy called the Hooded Terror. The Hooded Terror? Oh, my goodness. Simmons, there's no fire. You tricked me. Yes, I did, sir. But your sweetheart's marrying another man. In just 15 minutes, your beloved will be Mrs. Welber Slemons. He'll be folding her in his arms, kissing her sweet lips. Her sweet lips? Yipe! Simmons, don't go away. You stay right here. You hear? You get... Beautiful bride, ain't she? You said it. Hey, somebody might sneak in those doors. I got something to say to you. Oh, what a terror! Are you a man or a mouse? Don't answer that. Come on, Don't be frightened, honey. It's me. Look, Eric. Oh, darling, I thought you'd never get here. Well, let's get out of here. He went that way. Oh, that yeah. way. Oh. May, are you all right? No, I'm not. You've spoiled everything. Spoiled everything? Yes. Sir, there's a justice of the peace in the next block. Well, let's go, let's go. Looks like the Orwells, honey. But I'm not interested. Orwells? I wouldn't miss this for the world. Get going, Simmons. Yes, Simmons, come on, let's go. Uh. 